Peace, love, and balance, everybody. Peace, love, and balance. I am Isha, the goddess of wisdom, also known as goddess on the rise, the copper queen, the fiber hootie queen, bringing the sacred energy change to two, two, y'all. And y'all know I am the Tennessee witch, okay? So y'all took a little nap. I took a good little nap. It, it's storming where I'm at. Peace, welcome to the channel. It's storming where I'm at. It's been out. These storms been coming out of nowhere, like. That's not the energy has been getting shaked up and it's been storming randomly, raining randomly. I love it. I'm a storm witch, so storms clear out a lot of energy. It's a release for me. So, normally, I go outside in the rain. I did not get to do that today, but yeah, storms really do clear out your aura. Peace, baby. You know, storms really do release and clear out your aura. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the shedding of the water, it's cleansing. It's literally a lot of energy that's getting stirred up that's really coming from us because y'all don't know how much we are connected to the earth. That it, whatever is coming from us at a, at a large amount of energy is coming out in the universe, okay? And that's why sometimes it affects us. That's why some people get sad when it rains, when it storms. They get suffer from depression because some of that energy was probably something in you that you need to release, okay? So I'm going to do a live today. This live is going to definitely be some type of a warning, okay? Like, it's some dark energy out here, y'all, okay? Y'all know that, I tell you, Venus, this Venus retrograde is not just bringing out people's light side. It's bringing out people's dark side, okay? As, as y'all seen my live my this morning when I told you I'm spilling this tea, this hot tea, about what's, what, what that energy makes people do to get demons in them, okay? So I'm going to pull from tarot. I'm going to pull from most of my dark decks today, okay? I'm going to pull from my uh this my my tarot deck right here y'all know i got another deck i haven't even had to pull from them for a while so when those messages start coming through pay attention this time the spiritual tax is up okay spiritual tax is up especially on any chosen one anybody doing any chosen duty i don't care if you if you make if you make necklaces with crystals on them if you're making anything that deals with healing, selling, even if you're selling tea, you're more than likely being attacked because the energy that's out there right now wants to, to pull any divine energy down. Okay? That's that's just what it is. If you if you sell seeds, you can sell seeds for people to grow their own food. They trying to attack you because you're doing something that's going to help the earth. Okay? That's the energy that's out here. So I am going to ring my bell so I can get us in tune with spirit, y'all. Let me ring this bell. Earth. Air. Fire, water, spirit, universe, most high, high, self, and spirit, guides, a balanced light. Our ancestors known and unknown of balanced light. Please come into this space and provide us a divine message so we can protect ourselves. Hotel, okay? Yeah, we got to better protect ourselves. I'm going to do one more shuffle, y'all. You're going to have to learn how to protect yourself. Y'all know I got my knife right here. Hold on, let me get my knife up. <laughs> let me get my knife up. My athame. Protect yourself, okay? Y'all gonna have to learn how to start doing spiritual protection spells with your athame, okay? Doing altars for protection, okay? All right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the tarot, y'all. Shuffling to get these cards dealt out. First card coming in. Four of staffs, okay? I love it. Four staffs. This is a Leo Aries Sagittarius energy, of course, and we're in the Leo season right now. Very fiery energy. So I do feel like you see the stability and security. Somebody is a very fiery being. Somebody is very fiery, and you're attracting other people that are fiery, and you're also about stability and security. So that's another thing. You're being what you want to attract, and people that see you and have been watching you, you're attracting those people. Like, you're attracting people that they do not play about themselves, so they don't play about the people that they, they call family and friends around them. You're showing that type of courage and strength, okay? And they like what they see, so you're affecting, you're, you're attracting your soul family, okay? Listen to me, y'all. Listen to me, this is a divine message for someone, okay? For more than one person, but definitely for somebody for sure. That you have attracted your soul type. There are you are being watched. So you're about to have some kind of grand uh welcoming, okay? Don't be surprised if you get a, somebody contacts you, want to fly you out and say, "Hey, we want to we want to uh you just want to throw you a party uh, and welcome you in." That's how we welcome people into our tribe, okay? Or what you know, whatever it is. We want we just want to show you appreciation. We respect everything you do and they're going to be here to lift you you up so whatever you got going on that attracted them they're going to promote that they're going to pour into that because they love who you are like they see that your heart is true and your the messages are divine okay somebody is very gifted here okay so that is a good blessing coming through ten of gorge yes 
What did I tell y'all about that water energy? Okay, Ten of Gourds, y'all. So listen, this is another family card. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've attracted a family. I'm, I'm being honest. Listen to me, y'all. You have attracted a loving family. Some people love you, okay? I don't think somebody realized how much they're loved. And they love you because they see how you love yourself, okay? You don't play about you. You do not play about you. And they love that they, they want somebody like that around. They don't really like dealing with cowards. Okay. They don't like, they can't, they don't like having to protect people that don't know how to protect themselves. That's the energy I'm channeling. This is a tribe. They need people that's solid. Okay. So if we all strong, ain't nobody going to effort us. But as soon as we got one weak link in the building, that's how we get pulled down. So they, this, this group of people that you have attracted, this soul tribe, do not hang around weak people under any circumstances. You got to be able to hold your ground, whether you're a man or a woman. And then they'll be there for you 10 times more. But if you want them people that they got to call to you and cray to you and always speak up for you, that you're like really like some kind of parasite to their tribe. You will weaken their tribe, okay? But you're not that. And that's why they about to pick you, all right? They about to throw a party for you and everything. Mama Gore, yeah. Y'all know I love this card. Mama Gore. Somebody is a mama. Let me get this, this card, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Angie. Somebody, somebody got a good heart. You see how this, okay, you see how this gourd is like on her third, on the third eye and, and being poured down. That's a, uh, that's a jug turned upside down. And you see these, uh, crystals on their head. Somebody is very anointed, okay? You're very anointed. You have a heart that you really love. Like, you have, you, you big mama. That's the energy I'm trying. Y'all know how big mama is. Big mama is the mama of the entire family. So, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This energy just came out. You about to be mama. So, this tribe that you attracted, somebody, some kind of chairman, chief this, you're about to be put in a position to, people got to do what you say. They trust your judgment that much that they like, we've been needing a queen or a goddess to sit on the throne that really can hold that position because they actually live it daily. They're actually a divine feminine, an empress, a high priestess, okay? The higher fence, okay? That's your energy, okay? That's your energy, okay? So this is you, Mama Gore, you mama, and you have a heart. That's infinite like the ocean. That's what they've been needing. They need people that even when they messing up. See, that's what people don't understand about Big Mama. Big Mama didn't judge nobody, but she she did call you out. You could be doing wrong and she still loved you. And that's why everybody went to Big Mama. Everybody loved their Big Mama. You could be selling drugs, selling your, your butt, lying and stealing and, and all that. And she could see no wrong with you, but she would tell you what's right, okay? That was her job. It wasn't her job to just criticize you and make you feel worse than you probably already do if you're suffering from some things. But she'll tell you, she'll lift you up and tell you how you should you, you should got so much more in you, okay? And show you love. But she wasn't going to let you just stay down or nothing. And, and she, she would tell you about yourself. So this one, somebody is a person of integrity for sure. Very much has some very inte some integrity about you, a decent divine being, okay? Your knowledge is beyond your years, too. That's Angie I'm channeling. Your knowledge is beyond your Papa Corn. Oh my God. And let me tell you, Mama Gore got Papa Corn coming through. Let's go. Let's ring this bell again. So I'm going to tell you, men and women, ladies and gentlemen, some, some Mama Gore, this is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, too. This is some kind of earth energy. Some Mama Gore, there's some kind of water energy that attracted some type of earth energy or abundant man, okay? Some man that's a rich man. Listen to me on this. This man is rich. Like, money is not a problem with him. He don't even have to be a billionaire. But I'm going to tell you right now, he can take care of you. He can provide for you where you will never need nothing again. And he wants to give to you, Divine Feminine. Whoever this Mama Gore energy is, they want to give to you. They want to give to you. All right? They love everything about you. They res highly respect you. They are so glad they met you and know that you exist because you are literally a dream come true for them. These are the words that are coming out of my mouth, okay? This is the channel. This is what I'm channeling. They, they're they like, I knew you existed and I gave up on the type of existence that you are. But now, game is over, man. Checkmate, baby. Oh! Somebody like checkmate, baby, come to daddy, okay? That's the end I'm channeling. Come to daddy, baby. You ain't got to worry about nobody hurting you or doing you wrong no more. I got you, okay? Listen to that, y'all. So somebody got a protector coming through. Somebody got a protector coming through. Okay, that was a very powerful engine. I am going to still pull from this deck right here because I do feel like once you and this man align that this is this rich man that y'all align, when y'all get together, are y'all going to attract some a huge amount of people that love y'all, but y'all also going to attract fans because y'all about to show so much strength and courage and wisdom 
that nobody ain't never seen it. Y'all about to have a huge impact on the world, okay? So y'all are both some type of prophets. That's the energy I'm channeling. Both of y'all are prophets, okay? And what is that? Dangerous, baby. Y'all wanna know what Michael Jackson said? That girl, dangerous, okay? It's dangerous, okay? So, yeah, y'all are going to be attracting people that support y'all, too. That's what I'm saying. Y'all about to attract more people. So, when y'all get together, listen to me. Y'all about to attract the whole tribe. I'm talking about people in, in other cities and countries and all that because they about to see y'all power. And they they like, they like going to love the union. It's the union y'all have. It's the agreement that y'all have. People, y'all know how hard that is. That's the most biggest challenge, finding your match, okay? Your twin flame. So this is a twin flame alignment. This is what it sounds like. Somebody's like, I'm done pretending like this is not my wife or this is not my husband. Like... I got to straighten up and I got to stop playing with my life because this opportunity is going to pass me by if I don't. Somebody don't have a wake up call during that lion's gate don't woke somebody up. Good. Wake up, y'all. Wake up, y'all. This this is this 3D is not what's up, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I ain't I ain't telling y'all this because just just for the money. If I was just telling y'all this for the money, I would have been done stopped. <laughs> I would have been done stopped. Trust me, okay? I'm already taken care of, okay? So look. All right. Pulling these cards up. Oh, you know what? Bottom of the deck before I start that one. Bottom of the deck. Pop a blade. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me pick up my knife because it fell. Pop a blade, okay? Bottom line is, I'm going to tell you now, this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy too. This pop a blade corn on the back. This king is a fighter and a killer. That just came out. This king is a fighter and a killer, especially about you. Because this mama, this mama gore, she's so pure. He's going to have to fight over you. I feel like he's already been fighting over you. He's been fighting over you in the spiritual realm already. But once he gets you in the physical realm, because apparently whoever this mama gourd is, if she the divine the way they saying she is, people got their eye on you and everybody been watching you and waiting to make their moves. So you get talked about a lot. And you have a lot of options that you don't even know about because people watching you from afar without your knowledge. And they trying to come scoop you too. But he about to come in and scoop you. All right, somebody in a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy and he is willing to fight people for you. He's going to be like, look, you can't have her. She with me. This person is very protective. Take that how it resonate. He, he's going to be protective of you like that. He's going to be like, get back. She with me. I got her. And if you need anything, you can come talk to me. This person, this is how this person's energy is about you. Okay, for this part card coming in. Okay, y'all see this right here? Look at this. I'm gonna show y'all this. You see, it's some kind of uh, it looks like it could be some kind of urn. So even like an ancestor urn, maybe somebody passed away, and uh, a veil. Y'all know, y'all remember here part of the Travers or cup. Some type, that's what I said, a trophy, somebody's being honored. I do feel like some answer, with this mason symbol right here on the side, and this, um, I do feel like the ancestors have anointed you. That's the energy that just came out, as I was saying, channeling. The ancestors have anointed you. Your ancestors are extremely proud of you. Peace and love, King. Your ancestors are extremely proud of you. They shining on you from above, and everything that you're getting right now is being anointed by your ancestors at the most freaking high. Let's go. Whatever you're doing, you are a divine being. This is not a joke. You are a prophet. You are a chosen one of your time. You're the black sheep. You are so many things. You're the goat. And they're making sure you're about to be taken care of for the rest of your life. You don't have nothing to worry about. Your heart is pro Even y'all know how we talk about judgment day, heaven and hell. You, you are Christ. You are ascended master. You're an ascended master. You are already, you have a seat already on the throne in the afterlife. And they about to make, make sure you have a seat on the throne here in the physical world, in this life. You about to have your heaven on earth and you already got a seat for you. You completed your mission, okay? And you're going to continue to complete your mission. And you about to get people to join in with you and make sure you can do this, okay? Look at this. Look at this next card coming in. Y'all see these butterflies? That's why I look. That's why I got my butterflies on. You're definitely a transformed being. Y'all see that eye? You are not. You see how you are? So somebody's DNA done got transferred, uh, uh, done went through a transformation and an activation. So you could feel different. Somebody could be having like headaches. You could be having an overactive mind. You could not. You could not sleep. Even hormones. Maybe your hormones have been going up recently. You don't. It's not just the Venus retrograde. So when you become a divine being, you go through a Kundalini awakening, and that naturally makes you more fertile. And fertility creates. You know, what opens up your creativity. So your creativity is your sexual. And just so you're so powerful, you probably draw, and that's why you're attracting a lot of people that want you. That's the energy I'm channeling. People keep people want you, like because that energy off you is so powerful. Sac sacral energy, your sacral chakra is very powerful, y'all. So that's the energy I'm channeling. You people see you like, what is this 
alien machine that trend you transform so much you keep waking up every time they see you somebody new like they like we don't even know what that is you're not a human i'm telling you y'all know i love them flowers yes what did i just say early in my life somebody you are a flower where my flower at let me show y'all my copper flower. I'll be taking pictures with y'all. You see my copper flower? It's actually made of copper. You are a flower, baby. You some kind of desert rose. That's the I'm channeling, okay? So like somebody like, y'all remember a, a movie where they throwing like roses down when you walk? You about to have rose petals thrown at your feet. That's the I'm channeling right now. Let's ring this bell. That's how people feel about you now. Like, you deserve to wake up to rose petals being thrown at your feet while you go to the bathroom, while you go take your shower, and anywhere you go, okay? You are chosen, okay? You, you definitely a king, a queen, a pharaoh, and a uh, empress, and all that energy, baby. You are royalty. Ro this is royal blood, baby. And you have awakened. You have awakened, and that's good. Stay woke. Okay, look, some more protection coming through. See somebody, you see that hand? Y'all know I be doing that, <laughs> that hand, baby. You are protected. You are divinely protected and highly favored, okay? Y'all see that moon right there? Y'all see, see them arrows shot through the moon? I do feel like some kind of American Indian ancestors, because y'all know our American Indian ancestors pray, worship the moon. They used to do moon rituals. Why do y'all think? See, that's what y'all forget about our culture. They used to, the, the wolf, right? The wolf pack. And what are the wolf pack too? How to the moon. You done attracted the wolf pack. Your ancestors that have been slaughtered back then, that, that got those arrows in their body and been killed and murdered, they are, somebody's a shaman, they have awakened in your body. And you have been chosen. That energy just keeps coming out. You have been chosen to finish what they what, what they started. To to show, give them final justice. Okay, that's why you about to have all this. You, you don't have to worry about that. Remember, the spiritual warfare this time is spiritual. And you lighten it up in the spiritual world. Let's ring the bell. You, you not playing out here. And you are divinely protected. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. This is fire. Ooh, I'm so glad this car came out. Wait till I show y'all how long. Look, the caduceus. Y'all know. This is, this is my symbol that I have on my jury. I see you healing, baby. You healed. The serpent is here. The serpent is awakened in you, baby. And you see, y'all understand that the reason why it's two serpents is because this is about a union. You got to... You, the best part about life, Bobby Hemant talked about this, is returning to your God-like self and, and getting harmony and balance. So you have found another person. You have This is your twin flame. This is y'all two together. You, are, you and two people are ascended and anointed. Two prophets about to be together. Two prophets that are conscious and wise and going through that kundalini ascension, Christ-like energy. Okay? Y'all just do not know what's about to happen with y'all. Y'all really don't know. I'm talking about y'all going to have people, other rich people giving y'all money and supporting y'all. By maybe buying y'all a mansion or this engine just came out. Y'all about to be gifted some, some type of land and property where I had to pay anything because of y'all purpose. And because the throne is being given back to the people that truly will stand in it in harmony and balance. Okay. Cause this is not about war. This is about peace. And love and balance and harmony, okay? And y'all, look at that. Right after that, what did I just say? As I said that, balance. This is what you two are bringing. Y'all are bringing this to the world. Healing and balance to the world, which is what everybody needs. And union, sacred union, okay? This is what it's always been about, y'all. Justice. Y'all bring justice. Y'all see that? And it's funny that it's storming today, too. Y'all bring justice, y'all. And y'all, and that's another thing. Y'all bring justice and y'all will bring the storm. If y'all got to, let's ring the bell on that. If y'all got to bring the storm, y'all will bring the storm. You do not, y'all do not play about that. So look, I am definitely, see, this is going to be my first time pulling for my ancestor deck. Y'all know I got this new deck. And if you do not know, the Copper Queen is a medium. So I do talk to spirits on the regular basis. I talk to my ancestors. I tell y'all about that, getting your ancestor altar. And yes, they do deliver me messages and channel through me. So I am doing ancestors readings. If you would like to book a reading with me to actually speak to one of your ancestors, because you may not have those abilities, you can contact me and I can give you a message, okay? I can definitely give you a message. Whoever And I tell people it's better. It's the easiest thing to do is bring in an item. So bring something that was there. like a watch. And it needs to be something powerful like a watch but it doesn't matter if you don't all you got is a hat and a shirt of theirs bring it if you got a uh a, a jewelry jewelry stuff stuff like that they wore shoe even some shoes those things are gonna be powerful necklaces that they wore uh and best of all a photo a photo okay if you really want them to come bringing a photo would definitely help as well to just do anything to bring their energy because they traveling y'all and, and they're traveling so 
that I am doing that. I do not have that on my uh actual service list as of now. So if you want to answer to read, you just have to tell me that. <laughs> I haven't I haven't added it to my um service list that I had that I send to people when they book me for readings, okay? So let's see what the answers got to say, y'all. Let's see what the answers has got to say. First call coming in, plate woman, okay? Some woman is coming through for somebody. This could be somebody's sister, grandmother, or auntie. That's Angie I'm channeling. But some woman, or somebody's wife, it says compliments of this woman. So somebody, I do, I felt the energy of a wife. Somebody's wife, somebody could have been a widow and maybe your wife passed away. And the message is that, uh, or girl, even, even if y'all wasn't married, maybe this, it doesn't matter. Somebody that was a lover to you that is no longer here is sending a message that they're actually proud of you and they love you or whatever you're doing that you need to keep doing it. That's the energy's channel right now. Like, that, and they also, the energy is coming out. They want you to find happiness, okay? Somebody, I feel like, so, so when you lose a loved one, when you're a widow, that's a whole nother ball game, especially if you lost your twin flame, okay? So somebody could have lost their twin flame and they want you to move on. That's the end of trying. They're telling you you have another opportunity to have love and harmony and balance in your life and you should take it, okay? It, but yeah, definitely, uh, answer, so that was a powerful message, y'all. Somebody saying that that energy was in there for somebody. Pillar, okay? Y'all see that pillar and with them, that, uh, uh, those flowers going around. That's what I'm saying. I do feel like y'all know normally those are like at on, on mansions and there's normally two of them. Okay. So I do feel like somebody has been alone on their journey. That's what I'm saying. That's the energy keep coming out and being alone is old for you. It's time for you to be united. Okay. So I do feel like you are about to be blessed with a gift of uh, a relationship from the universe. This is uh, your, and your ancestors. So your ancestors been out here manifesting you a man or a woman. It's ring the bell. <laughs> and they going to make sure this person is not weak. Okay. They know that's why you got this card about the, the serpent kundalini, the uh, energy, okay? The uh, the caduceus. So you're not, don't you ain't got to worry about not finding, not getting the right person. They got you covered. Trust in them. That's the energy I'm trying to write that. Trust in them, okay? Trust, they telling you just trust us, okay? Plague doctor, okay? Oh, okay, hold on. Y'all, listen to me right now. This, this message is heavy. You see that this is called plague doctor, okay? somebody is some kind of witch doctor okay somebody knows how to heal from the inside out it's not just through herbal medicine somebody knows how to heal people's dna heal people's like ancestral traumas okay pull demons out somebody's body okay like some kind of paranormal activities okay somebody know how to do that stuff and heal on a way uh like in a way that you ain't even got to give nobody something you are a healer so maybe people being around you or listening to you and your messages is healing them you are alchemist that's the energy i'm channeling right now okay you are doctor okay you some kind of uh healing doctor all right and you are i'm telling you you're chosen and the answers is like so this is nothing this is a pet y'all so this the gifts that you're in right now is an ancestral gift okay your ancestors from many many generations back were these people and actually that that gift came to you that's the energy i'm channeling it skipped up when i tell you you are the first person in your generation to get back to these roots right here you're the first and only person in your generation to really tap into the gifts that your ancestors and your current family members totally forgot about you're probably more than likely a black sheep you're probably the only one in your family truly spiritual right now so you actually are alone that's what this card is you are alone right now i'm talking about completely isolated you do not get no friends and that's why you get in this gift and i told you you're you're, you're alone for a reason because they needed to clear space for this family coming through y'all remember that card your soul child is about to come get you don't worry about it you're not alone so don't worry about any of that okay Ooh, it got psych plate okay look at that y'all see these bugs look so, so this right here, I do feel like um with this knife, you see these black flowers or something like that coming through. This is oh, hold on, you I like it. You see how it's six, three, three. So somebody could be thirty three. That's the most somebody that thirty three energy keep coming out, and this is the number six. Okay, somebody could be thirty. So somebody is definitely some kind of non ether being. Okay, so this energy I'm channeling, you are actually a reincarnated soul. That's the energy I'm channeling. Okay, you actually came back from the dead. This, that, that's so I just posted about this. I said just because somebody's alive does not mean they have a soul. So you have awakened a, a past life inside your body. So you see how that's like a shovel, like somebody digging or something. You got dug up from the dead. The universe, okay. This I ain't never had a message like this come through. The the universe they dug up an energy for you. 
Some kind of, you are reincarnated soul. They had to wake you up. So somebody got a spirit transferred in their body recently. That was one of your upgrades. That was one of your upgrades as a chosen one, as a prophet. So if you're in a new energy now, you don't, you know, you, you're feeling super different, super strong. Like even like an alien and all that. That's because the universe, they just dropped somebody, a spirit in you. Okay. Somebody's a shaman. I'm telling you. You a shaman. They just dropped some energy in you and awakened you even more because you need all this protection. All right. And that's another thing. You can, you can, so yo, you so powerful. It's a whole bunch of spirits in you at one time. Look, bottom of the deck, babe. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. The key. Uh oh, hold on. The key, baby. I love this. is a new deck, y'all. The key. This is called the key. So the bottom is the key, baby, was always within you. And the key was you tapping into your ancestors. I'll be telling y'all that. This is a very ancestral time. Bobby Hema talked about this back in the 80s that eventually the ancestors were gonna wake or rise from their from their uh slumbers. Okay, because y'all don't y'all if y'all remember, a lot of our ancestors that got slaughtered. And buried, like that video I just showed y'all in Cyrilville, Tennessee, they got buried by owners and slave owners and slaughters. Them spirits have been stuck and trapped there by a very powerful spell that the colonizers put on this land. And that spell has been lifted. And they're more powerful than ever. So if you've been noticing, it's a lot of supernatural activities been happening and, and paranormal activities. Strong presence been happening around the world. Including what they say is the aliens coming back and all that stuff. Now nah, this is the ancestors and they own the earth, baby. And they are actually finding bodies to jump into. Yo, what's the... They jump... They, they are having soul transformations, okay? Thank you so much, King. This is serious. I can actually feel this in my heart. They coming inside us. They only going to bodies that strong. If you weak, they not utilizing your body, okay? They are, they're only reincarnating in bodies that are strong. And these new babies, y'all. Oh, y'all, I'm going to keep it real. I am not in a hurry, but when it's my time to have babies, I know I'm having chosen babies. I know I'm having some reincarnated ancestors, baby. I already know. So that's one another thing. These ancestors are coming through through the children, y'all. Through these children. But it ain't going to be just through birth. You are going to be go through a rebirth as a person. You. So you still are you, but you a whole bunch of people too. You, you, you're going to have ancestors within your, your body. And within your, they share in your body. We can channel different souls, y'all. We, that's what I, that's what I'm an oracle. I'm telling y'all. So look, y'all, that was a divine message for today. Y'all, that was powerful. I felt I took a nap and, you know, spirit world really tapped in with me and let me know I had to deliver this message. And this is a new deck. Like I said, I am doing ancestor readings. If you would like to get an ancestor reading, see what your ancestors got to say to you. Okay. Uh, also, y'all know I'm going to my uh, concert tonight. If y'all ever heard of Sarah, she is a more bruja that's a, and she's a rapper. I love it. And she actually performing tonight. At the city winery. I'm super hyped about it. I got tickets to it. So that's my that's the event that I'm going to before I wrap it up, y'all, and go in the house for a little minute. So if y'all like this content, please follow me on YouTube at Sacred Energy Exchange 222. That's Sacred Energy Exchange 222. Follow me on TikTok as guys on the rise. Follow me on Facebook as guys on the rise. Follow me here at the Follow Hootie Queen. Follow me on Patreon. Y'all know it's in my uh a, a story. Follow me. And I do tag the information at the end of my videos. All right, follow me on Patreon. And definitely, uh, what else did I say? Uh, if you uh, if you like to get a reading, that's the same thing. Sacred Energy Exchange two 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 at gmail dot com. If you like to get a reading, and if you want to definitely get a reading about an ancestor reading, you have to follow me there, okay? At Sacred Energy Exchange two two two. Also, y'all, y'all know I'm a uh, to check out my jury. I'm a witch doctor, okay? And my jury is definitely infused with healing properties, okay? And witchcraft, the biggest thing, okay? And it does pull out any toxins in your body. It's going to any bad habits, trauma, it does not matter. It's going to cleanse your aura, okay? It's healing. It's a healing tool. It's an amulet, okay? If you don't know what an amulet is, look it up, okay? Look it up, okay? And that's why a lot of my ambulance that I've made, I have paid homage to an ancestor. So I have a Mansa Musa necklace. I have a uh, witch Tichaba necklace. I have a lot of necklaces and stuff named after ancestors because they came to me and they told me to make this, okay? So look. That's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to ring this bell. Send this energy back to spirit, all right? Earth, air, fire, water, spirit, y'all. Happy Sunday. Until next time, peace, love, and balance. I see you.